Hi friends! This week we are learning about art and artists. So today we have a wonderful story called The Hall of Beasts and it was written and illustrated by Mark Shasha. Now Mark Shasha not only wrote this book but he also did all of the beautiful beautiful artwork you are about to see in this story. So I think you should get cozy. This is a really wonderful story, friends. So get cozy and let's go find out about the Hall of Beasts. It would be a while before the family sat down to eat. So the old man took his granddaughter's hand and led her away from the gathering. There's something I want to show you, Jenny, he said pointing across a lonely stretch of beach to a building in the distance. Jenny squinted into the salty wind. A house, Grandpa! Her grandpa then to whisper in her ear. Animals, he said. Jenny's eyes opened wide in excitement. She loved animals. Let's go, Jenny said, and they headed across the beach toward the point. Wow, what's down there, friends? You see that place? It's an old inn, Grandpa said, and it was once owned by a sea captain. When I was little, I used to stay there with my grandfather. One great room had walls covered with a marvelous painting of animals. It was called the Hall of Beasts. I asked the captain, how had the animals gotten there? He told me that one day a mysterious man had come looking for a room, but he had no money. He offered instead to paint the ballroom in return for a place to stay. Here he is. The sea captain accepted his offer. But then the man said there was something that the captain should know. The animals must never be abandoned, he said, or they will vanish at the first light of day. The captain agreed to respect the painter's wishes. When the painting was finished, it was called a great masterpiece. The animals were so lifelike that visitors were breathless at the sight of them. Wow, look at those foxes, friends. Look at this beautiful mural. The inn became famous for its extraordinary mural. A mural, friends, is a painting that's on a wall. As they neared the inn, Jenny could see plainly that the place was run down. Grandpa told her how for many years the inn had been neglected. The roof began to leak and the wood began to rot. The captain decided to close the inn so it could be repaired. Some people began to forget all about the Hall of Beasts. Jenny and her grandpa reached the old inn. I'm afraid that tomorrow this building will be torn down, said grandpa. He took Jenny's hand and led her inside carefully. Slowly, they climbed the stairs. Up, up, up they go, friends. Oh, look, it's dark, look at that. Grandpa opened a pair of heavy doors. The room was completely dark. Grandpa, I can't see anything, said Jenny. I'm sure this is the Hall of Beasts. Grandpa whispered. The air was musty and thick. There was just enough light from the open doors for Grandpa to find the heavy curtains that covered the window. He pulled them aside and light flooded into the hall. Look, friends. What do you see? It's the mural of the animals. They are. Look, cried Jenny. Yes, Grandpa said, it's exactly as I... <gasps> Jenny gasped. She pointed to a rabbit that had hopped from the wall and scurried past them. 
Grandpa, she said, the animals are leaving the wall. A seagull swooped overhead. More rabbits hopped by. Then another gull and another one circled the room. Look at all the rabbits, friends. Hooves hit the floor as a deer fled past. Grandpa scooped up Jenny as more animals bolted for the door. Out they rushed. Down the stairs, out the door, and across the grassy dunes. Suddenly, the walls were empty. Here they come. Wow, the animals are coming off the mural. Look at that, down the stairs. Jenny and her grandfather could hardly believe what they had seen. Grandpa told Jenny he was certain that the animals would return to some magical place where the painter had first encountered them. But Jenny was not so sure. Ooh, who's there, friends? Who's at the beach with Grandpa and Jenny? There he is. The end. Well, where do you think the animals went, friends? The animals from the famous mural in the Hall of Beasts. I hope you love this story, and I hope it inspires you guys to keep making great art. Have a great day, friends.